Hi guys, Irit here with a new process video and this is the first layout I created with my December kits. I have an unboxing video on my channel and my theme this week is to mix patterns. Now right from the start I really um, was drawn to this paper by Crate Paper. It's from their new Valentine um, Valentine's collection and it's gorgeous. So it has this huge polka dots on one side and then this triangle pattern on the other. And this is already a great tip. Um, usually, well, almost always probably if a collection is done right, um, the two sides of the same pattern paper will coordinate. And in this case, actually both are kind of, I would say, um, strong patterns. Um, but obviously the colors match and because um, they both have just pink and white, uh, they look really great together. So that's a really easy way of combining patterns, at least two patterns, um, just use the same paper and use both sides. So now I'm thinking um, which paper I want on my background. And I really wanted to add another pattern. I didn't want to just use cardstock because that's, you know, a cop out. So <laughs> I wanted to embrace this challenge. And I thought about this paper by Pink Paisley. It's a really cute one with all those colorful triangles, but I end up going with this one. And this is a great paper to use as a background because it has a very uh, subtle pattern and it's also great if you want to add your journaling on top of it uh, because it has all those uh, ledger lines. And I like the um, that little pop of color at the top. It's kind of like a muted um, pink, I guess. So I'm just, instead of um, using that whole strip behind the polka dot strip, I'm just... Um, preserving my paper because I really like it and I want to use um, every bit of it. So this ledger paper is also great for lining up uh, things. You know, in this case, I'm creating the illusion that there's a bigger uh, piece of pattern paper um, behind those polka dots. So I just need to line things up properly. And yeah, I started with this. Uh, you can see I just printed a bunch of new photos um, they're lying there on the left uh, side of the screen. Um, I just really love um, scrapbooking current photos. So I just printed a, a bunch of them in the in my Canon selfie. And um, yeah, I will be scrapping them, if not in my 12x12 12 12 layouts, then probably in my December daily. And I added some stitching. Um, just for some added texture and then I can distress the papers a little bit. Um, I really like how that looks. Uh, just trimming off the edge. And yeah, as I said, I'm gonna end up uh, using um, other photos. I just, I don't know, something about the colors wasn't working for me. And I have this thing about colors <laughs> where I really like to match them. <laughs> so instead I end up uh, choosing two really cute uh, black and white photos of my two girls. And I also really want to use those white um, word thickers that came in the main kit. And yeah, I just had the hardest time deciding um, where to place things. But... Um, yeah, I end up making a decision. <laughs> it wasn't easy. So I'm going to use from this um, thickers pack, I'm going to use the little moments and also a few of the embellishment. I really love that uh, package of thickers because it has, you know, words and these cute little asterisks and a couple of flowers and a heart. So I really like that when I'm designing uh, a page. Um, I always try to repeat um, elements and this makes it really easy because I can repeat that same texture of the white foam and just add an embellishment um, somewhere else in my layout. 
So moving things around, sometimes I uh, edit these uh, parts and sometimes I don't. <laughs> In this case, I don't think I edited a lot of it out. And you can just see, this is the, the layout of indecisiveness. What can I say? So I hope this December is treating you nicely. Um, for me, it has been a really busy month until about a week ago, you know, on top of the regular um, staying, being a stay at home mom with a one year old and a seven year old. Um, yeah, I also had my last course in the university here. Uh, hopefully my last course. You know, now it's time to gather papers and fight uh, bureaucracy and those types of things. Uh, but if everything goes according to plan, I will be finished finally uh, in the university here. Not a moment too soon, probably 10 years too late. But what are you going to do if you want to move to a new country and uh, practice your profession? then you have to work for it <laughs> really hard <laughs> but it's all good so um yeah so hopefully that part of my life the student part will be uh, finished in the near future i can only hope um we'll see so i decided to keep my color scheme uh very pink um yeah i'm lately on a, a bit of a um, overdose of pink um, but then I thought that I want to add a pop of yellow because I really like yellow as an accent color and I end up I think I end up using a part of this um, frame that came in the ephemera pack from the take me away collection it's beautiful has beautiful pieces um, so I'm gonna use a, a little bit of yellow but what I am going to use in abundance is um, those gorgeous puffy Heidi Swap stickers that came these ones that are just now on the screen I love them they are gorgeous and that gold is really like a real really really yellow gold um, it's a beautiful color so that's mostly what I'm going to use I'm going to use also a couple of die cuts on the left side of my photos a couple of tabs uh, from this package that I'm sorting through right now. It's a Hip Kit Club exclusive that came in the Project Life Kit. And I'm just going to uh, use a couple of items from it uh, that coordinate with my uh, color scheme. And yeah, and I'm going to add a bunch of those puffy stickers. They're super cute. And I have seen people staple the puffy stickers and being very happy about it <laughs> and I said I want to try that and first of all it's fun and it looks great I know it's a little bit disturbing talking about stapling puffy stickers but that's what I did you can see those that uh, detail in the close-ups um, oh and what I also did that I want to mention I think the video will be soon finished is that you see those um, paper clips that I have there lying on my layout at the bottom. Those are from the Take Me Away collection and they have at the top um, kind of an embellishment which you can cut in the middle because it's double sided. I hope that makes sense but I cut it and used it here on my tag, um, that little bow. So thanks for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye!